Let's start by logging into Clara and then at the very top select library. This will give us some preset uh, models that we can work with. Now we're looking for a model and there are a large number of models here. The ones we want are the ones that are standing in a T formation like uh, Altair here from Assassin's Creed or if I move on to the next page and there are almost half a million models we can select from but we need the ones we need are the ones in a T so this woman isn't any use to us but this character is as is this character here so we just need to find one so move through until you find something that you'd like to work with but it must be standing with arms outstretched that's really important So this one might work, uh, you could try it, but uh, we really want something which is uh, really arms well outstretched like this. And you can check it out once uh, you click on it, uh, you can spin it, make sure that it looks okay. And once you're happy with it, we're going to download it as an FBX, an auto deck. Autodesk FBX file that will download it as a character with all the textures as well. So it will prepare that for downloading. Once it's there, you need to download that as a zip file. And you will need, once it's there, to open that file and extract the .fbx file from that. So I'm going to extract that. And that's the file I'm going to use in a moment. We're now going to go to Mixamo and create an account. Mixamo is a website that will add the rigging, add the bones to our model and will also allow us to pick some moves. So I'm going to upload a character, the one I've just created. I'm going to find that file that I had and click and drag that across and wait while it uploads the file. Now these are large files so the more complicated your character is the longer it will take to upload and set up. So it's a matter of being patient while you do that. So sometimes this can take several minutes. And there's my character. So when you're happy that the character has loaded OK, we'll make sure that it's facing us with arms outstretched. So that's how your character needs to look. Hit the next button. And we now need to click and drag each of these uh, targets, if you like, onto your model. So. As you drag them on, you will see up on the top right, we get a nice close-up. So make them as accurate as you can. Now when you drop, drag and drop wrists, elbows and knees, it does them both together. Now that's fine as long as both of those are in the same spot. Now if they're not, uh, then you unclick where it says use symmetry. Just unclick that and you can move them one at a time. Uh, and that should have been wrists anyway. So wrists would be about there. And there. Elbows. Left elbow. Right elbow. Knees. I think they're there. There and groin goes there. That's the center of the character. Once you're happy with that, we go next. It's going to add all the bones to our model. In this case, it's going to add over 60 bones to the model so that the model bends appropriately because we've told it it's humanoid and it's in that T formation. Then it knows where the bones need to go. So it's not going to look stilted. And once that's uploaded and auto-rigged for us, 
uh, it'll show us that it's bending appropriately. Now if it's not, we can go back and make changes to it. But hopefully, first time through, that should be fine. So here's our rigged character. So we just need to make sure that the elbows, knees, wrists, head are moving appropriately and we can zoom around to make sure, zoom if we want, yep that looks okay, click the next button and we want to proceed with this new character so it will replace whatever was there with our new character and if we want to make it move and do something then we can choose any of these animations of which there are large numbers of them we just click on the animation <coughs> and our, our character now has that particular animation so we can go through and find whichever animation we're most we're happiest with keep in mind too that the longer the animation so this animation here is 49 frames we can see that down below it's 49 frames long uh, if I went for the Thriller, which I used previously, that's a very, very long animation and very difficult to work with, with over 700 frames in that. In fact, I struggled to get all that to load, and so a lot of the moves didn't come down. So a shorter animation is better than a long one. So just find out one that you like. There's one 140 frames. Now I think Clara by default, if I just open up Clara, I think has about a hundred and about 200 frames. I'll look at it. So that's sort of the, yep, 200 frames is sort of the, the maximum that Clara has. So just be a little careful with what you choose but look it's a matter of playing and finding what's appropriate so if I wanted this I'm just going to download it so I'm going to click download I'm going to leave everything as is it's still an FBX file so I'm going to make sure that it's FBX uh, and I'm just going to download it here it comes now once it's downloaded I need to see where it is. There it is. Fist Fight B is an FBX file. I'm going to go back into Clara and start a new scene. So I'll go into create a new scene, an empty scene, give it an appropriate name, create it, and then drag that file that we've just downloaded into Clara. You'll see in the bottom left it's uploading. Again, more complex models will upload more slowly and we just need to wait patiently while that uploads and then uh, adds everything in and you can see a whole lot of things are being added over on the left as it loads in the textures that we need, the model information and the animation information and the rigging information so those, those four things are brought in. Now, if like mine, you've, you've got these strange shapes appearing, uh, these are uh, these will go away. We may have to just go out and back in again, but these are where the bones are all added to our model. And when we've got our tick down the bottom, everything is there, we can just exit out of there. So if I go back in to my documents and reopen the fight, they should disappear. You might have to do that once or twice. Uh, the other way you can get rid of them is over on the left hand side is to find um, this button here. So mixermorig.hips. There's a little eye next to it. If you turn the eye off, there's that character there. And if I now play my animation, I now have my character in Clara. So I could do a whole lot of things to that, add backgrounds and so on. 
So have a go, see what you can create. And uh, you can use this video as, uh, as a help, as a guide, uh, but there'll also be some written instructions to help you through with that. Good luck.